2020 has been a chaotic year with the pandemic of COVID-19 and flu. You might be the one who Googled for the diets or habits that can enhance your immune system. Vaccination might be the surest way to keep healthy during these chaotic days, but there is a much well-tested and safer way. I would like to say it is our body's own quarantine system, or so-called immune system. Today, I want to share information about our lifesaver, our immune system. So, what is the immune system? We might be aware of it, but our body is always surrounded by danger. And the body has its own defense system that protects itself from external intruders, such as viruses and toxins and harmful internal changes, such as cell mutation, which can cause a cancer. From an infant to an adult, a human is born, grows, and develops. Throughout this process, the immune system plays a key role. When it works properly, the immune system removes any threats against our body and secures the helpful bacteria that exist in our body. Infections like COVID-19 are the whole new concept in our history, so our immune systems have no previous experience or memory for them, meaning we are all in a vulnerable state. The immune system has two parts, innate and adaptive. These two systems always work together to keep our bodies healthy. First, let's talk about the innate defense system. External membranes are things like skin and mucous membranes. If we get a wound, a pathogen can get into our body. That's why we have internal defenses too, which consist of antimicrobial proteins and phagocytes. Antimicrobial proteins penetrate the bacterial membranes, accumulate inside bacteria, and then shut down bacterial functions, inducing cell deaths via interacting with DNAs and RNAs. Pegocytes are a type of white blood cell that uses pegocytosis to engulf bacteria, foreign particles, and dying cells to protect the body. There is also an NK cell, which is a natural killer cell. It detects virus-infected cells and cancer cells that have been converted from normal cells, and the NK cells kill them. Then, there is the adaptive defense system. This is a more systematic and complicated system. Lymphocytes, in, including B and T cells, which are made in bone marrow, play an important role. Antibodies reaction is one of the vital activities that lymphocytes do. Look at the appearance of the B cell and T cell. There is a little difference. If a B cell combines with the protruding part of the pathogen, which we call epitope, they become antibodies. Antibodies are large Y-shaped proteins that are produced by lymphocytes. They live in blood and lymph, looking for pathogens. The suspended membrane receptor escapes and becomes an antibody. T cells do not have such a mechanism, but both B cells and T cells can make the memory cell. The memory cell increases the immune response rate strength, and duration in the re-exposure to the same antigen. It's the end of the information I prepared. Let me talk about my personal story. I'm the one who has an autoimmune disease. If our immune system attacks our body, we call this autoimmune disease. In my case, antibodies attacked my muscle, inducing disassembly, so I had a hard time being lethargic. A doctor said that I have to keep injecting a drug to hold back the antibodies. The first time I found out, uh, found out I was a patient, I was resentful of my immune system. But now I am also thankful to them because now I know that they protect me from a lot of other and uh, inside and outside attacks and they will keep doing that while I'm alive. My only wish is that this whole system could be sustained as long as it can, working properly. Here, I will finish my presentation. Hope that you guys can realize that you're a reliable ally, 
your lifesaver immune system is always with you.